Hello, welcome to my channel. This week I'm going to be making a facelift from the movie Aliens. This project is going to be completely scratch built, so I've done these drawings as a kind of reference. As you can see, I've done the main body, the tail, and one of the fingers. This will act as a rough template for the sizes I need. This face is going to be made completely out of foam, so I'll grab a foam square and I'll draw out the pattern. As you can see I found an image online and I'm using this as a reference point. And once that's all drawn, I'm going to have to glue three sheets together to increase the thickness. And for this I'm going to use contact cement. So I need to coat the top and bottom layers which I'm going to stick together. And once the glue is dry to touch, both sheets will bond together. I repeated the same process with sheet number three. And now it's time to cut it all out. Foam is notorious for dulling blades, so I have to keep sharpening mine to complete this cut. Now this doesn't have to be too neat, because I can correct that later. And now to break out the Dremel and tidy up the edges. Well as to go in and start carving out the detail. And now to create the gap between the fingers. Continue to carve out the detail for the inner section of the face hugger. I'm starting to feel like Bishop doing an autopsy. Here I'm tracing out the spine so I can make it a little bit deeper. That way I can add some more dimensionality to this creature. Now I just need to trace and cut. Then I 
tape at the edges to make it look a bit more organic. I'll trace on roughly where the ridges will go. And then cut them out in a V-shape, which will create a small channel. Using a bit of contact cement, I stick them both together. And now to continue carving out the detail. Then I drill out all the holes for the fingers. There's eight in total. So here I'm adding all the crease lines at the base of the fingers. And now I'm ready to extend the tail out of scrap foam. So the last thing I want is for the tail to be perfectly straight, so I add in a few little curves. I end up with several sections on the tail. All these have been pre-glued, so I just need to push them together. Now as you may have noticed it's not perfectly neat, but that doesn't matter. That will be fixed in the next step. Using the Dremel I smooth down all the edges to make it look like it's one piece. Then I start adding all the necessary curves to make it look like a face of his tail. And now I've done that I need to mark where I'm going to cut the grooves. These will run down the full length of the tail. Now I'll cut these out using the V shape. The first cut is slanted to the left and the second is slanted to the right so that way a V shape will pop out. And I do the same underneath as well. And once the tail is complete, I attach it to the main body with contact cement. Dremel and match up both parts of the tail perfectly. Before adding on additional features. Off 
camera I used the heat gun on these two pads. This allowed me to manipulate it and change the shape. As you can see it's time to look a little bit more 3D. I also add some additional texture to the tail. And now I'm carving out the tip of the feeding tube. This is what feeds oxygen to the victims and keeps them alive. So I'll carve out the edges and then drill out the hole. And here you can see how it will fit on the face hugger. And then I attach it with contact cement. And this is another element which adds to the 3D effect. And now it's time to start working on the fingers. Eight in total, all in slightly different positions. Grinding away at the fingers is a very laborious process and it took me a few hours to complete them. Here's all eight fingers and we can quickly see how they go together. to score on the creases for the knuckles and this is how it looks after one server with a heat gun and this is where things get a little bit interesting yep I'm gonna give these guys some fancy nails This is roughly how they'll look when they're on. Time for the contact cement. Which I apply with a cotton bud and then leave to dry. And then it's just a matter of sticking them all on. Then I also add contact cement to the body and the fingers. And then I stick them on one by one. And the further I go to the top, the more the fingers curl.
Then there was a match of sticking on some vein for the bladders. Then there was a matter of covering the whole thing in watered down PVA glue and this will help seal it all in and make the prop much easier to paint. And for the paint in itself I'm going to use a mixture of yellow and white acrylic paint and this will create a mid-tone which will be balanced out later once I add the highlight and low light. Then I add a salmon colour for the middle area. Off camera I spray on a layer of sealer. And this is in preparation for the next step. I cover the whole thing in a brown wash. And before it dries, I dab off the excess, leaving only the colour in the recesses. Repeat the same process for the underside. And for the veins I paint them a different shade of yellow. And now to dry brush on the white highlights. Now on to painting my nails. And to seal it all in one last time. And here we have the finished face hugger. Unfortunately my workspace isn't big enough to show it in all its glory. So just have a quick look on here before I move on to a greater space.
or do you have any suggestions of what creature I should make next? Drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.